5 minutes pour le championnat du monde féminin. D'abord, à ma gauche, vous présentant la championne. Elle vient de la Nouvelle-Orléans aux États-Unis à 64 kilos. On l'appelle la sensationnelle Sherry. Boy, look at that monsoon, huh? Little good. monsoon along with Bobby the Brain Heenan here in the Bercy Arena. Paris, France, a sensational Sherry amongst all the glitter and glamour making her way down to the ring here. Her title in jeopardy, Brain. Well, anytime you defend a title against a person like Velvet McIntyre, of course it's in jeopardy. But she's the world champion. Jam-packed here. Tremendous crowd on hand. You having a good time over here? Yeah, not as good as you are, though. I'm having a ball. What kind of a... Looks like something... Son adversaire, à ma droite, elle est de l'Irlande, à 66 kilos, Velvet McIntyre! How many kilos is that, Brent? In her weight, uh, like 141 pounds. 141 pounds. Well, I mean, you gotta get with this announcing stuff. You gotta know the weight, the height, and everything. Velvet McIntyre, very determined look on her face. Golden opportunity for her to just grab that lady's title. It looks like she's in great shape. She always does. She noticed that more than I have. Uh, you've been noticing a lot of things since we've been over here. I'm having a ball. Yeah. I understand you got uh, several tickets already. A couple of summonses. Well, it's just driving here is a little rough. Yeah, I'm not talking about driving. Referee checking everybody out. The food is great here, is it not? A little, a little trouble finding a driving window, but not bad. Uh, yeah, well, that's about the usual par. No, I mean, I wouldn't eat in a place like that. I've just been looking around to see the different facets of France here. Velvet questioning some of the ring attire of sensational Sherry. Why is she worried about that? She ought to be concerned with winning the match. She's a beautiful woman, isn't she? You got eyes for her, don't you? Change your hairstyle, did she not? Yeah, she combed the left side. That's what it's all about right there, the gold. Ladies' championship belt. On the line. We're gone. Bell's rung. We're underway here. There it is. I'm starting to hear bells when they happen. I, I thought I heard a bell, but it was that French wine, huh? Yeah, I'm ready to hear. You know, some of the people here in France, they're with them. Just like the people in the States. I mean, they know all the stars and know what's happening. Beautiful monkey flip out of the corner by Velvet and a one foot drop kick caught her right underneath the chin. That'll give you a negative attitude. You know any French women that are wrestlers? Any French women that yes. are wrestlers from France that wrestle? You mean professionally? Yes, I mean no. professionally. I don't either. Oh, this must be a big treat for these uh, French humanoids over here. Great shot of this tremendous crowd here. World Wrestling Federation, very well received here in Paris, as they are all over the world. Oh, brought her in the hard way, right over the top. Look out, Slingshot City, coming up. Uh, the landing gear wasn't down on that one. Just the flaps. Another one by Velvet. Champion in trouble. Rolls out underneath that bottom rope to catch a breather. That's a good championship move. Anytime you're in trouble, hit the sidelines. Take a breather, regroup. Now Velvet should be going out after. Throw her back into the ring. She's up some of her energy. But she's not that bright. I'm surprised that you didn't uh, maybe throw a little money her way. You could have you could have bought a championship belt in your stable, Brain. I'm not that kind of a person. No. Look. Whatever I get, I want to earn. In other words, uh, there's not going to be any championships for you for a while. Why, is she uh, going to place? <laughs> I guess so. She's a great champion. Well, I happen to be on hand at Sam Houston Coliseum when she won the title from the fabulous Moolah. And it wasn't by mistake or accident. She beat her. Are you having any trouble here in France getting around, ordering with the language and everything? None whatsoever. Me neither. I'm hanging around Frenchie Martin. He's taking oh, me every place. You. 
Surprised you haven't been in the slammer yet. Uh, to visit you? No. Hanging around with Frenchie, anything can happen. And it has. Well, Sensation a little bit reluctant now. Questioning something. Oh, oh she, drew, she drew an imaginary line. If they come across that line. A little test of strength here. Oh, beautiful standing drop kick. That's the quickest drop kick I've ever seen. Right in the pectoral area. That's another threatening, uh, sensational threatening to leave. If she was to leave, could she lose the title? No. Then why don't she leave? You know, it would be a simple count out. You can't lose a title on count out of disqualification. Only pinfalls are submissions. Probably the more that she did this, they'd probably strip her of the title. Eventually. Yeah, honey. Eventually. Pointing the finger right in the kisser of Velvet. Very, very cautious. I mean, you should say that about Velvet. Pointing right in the kisser. I remember when she walked in the building, I heard this French guy say, look at that kisser. Please, will you stop? I'll have a couple of gendarmes take you out of here. A diplomatic immunity. Yeah. <laughs> I've become a national hero over here. Is that right? Yes, because of prime time. And took me on a tour of the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> And the Rude? Ravishing Rick Rude? Oh no, the Louvre or something. Oh, I thought you said Rude. The Louvre is a museum. I know, I've been there. Leverage move by Velvet. Backs her in again. Another monkey flip. Got her. Pity combination. Couldn't hold her shoulder down. Great dancers there, too. Where? The Louvre. Please. You have any idea what you're talking about? Yeah, Pierre's Louvre. It's over yeah. on the... I'll show you the corner. Good place. Folks, don't pay any attention to the brand. He's, he's obviously been opening too many wine bottles. Hand extended. Wants to start over again. Robert won't fall for that trap, will she? Probably not. She's a pretty clever young lady. Certainly like to see her as ladies champion to lend some credibility to the title. What do you think, that Sherry uh, here is uh, tarnishing the title? Uh, I, I think so. She doesn't uh, represent the... Oh, what a shot by Velvet. Irish whip coming up. Beautiful elbow. Ooh. One count, two, no. Sherry doesn't uh, waste any time when she realizes she's on her back, does she? She's coming up. She, that title's at stake. She's not going to get pinned with some cheap officiating by these incompetent referees we have in the World Wrestling Federation. You're going to start again on the refs. Velvet now, a reverse chin lock. Sherry not faring too well so far in this matchup. But she hasn't lost yet. She's still the champion. That's what she has to go by. That hair uh, has got to be working against her. All that hair that Velvet has. Sometimes that gets into her eyes. She can't see. Can't see uh, the, the blows coming. I don't know why she just wouldn't shave her head. It wouldn't make much of a difference. Please. Sure. Are you kidding? Oh, slingshot well executed by the champion. Sends Velvet flying all the way across the ring. Looks to me like... The station of Sherry in there is working over uh, the poor man's version of Lucille Ball. Look out, Irish whip in again. Oh, beautiful drop kick by the champion. Here Sends comes. Sherry down to the canvas. I'm going to have the pin right here. Why didn't she go for the pin? Now, right? Well, she just knew that she wasn't ready to be pinned. She was up on her knees and moving around, so... Wear her down a little bit. Nice double leg scoop. Little leverage here. Rolls her over into a Boston Crab. Could be all over. Turned it loose. Why'd she turn it loose? Obviously, you didn't feel that she had the right leverage. Now, there's the rule. She turned a, a finishing maneuver into an illegal move. That shows the brain she's got. Back to the kitchen. Oh, I've been in the ring. I've got brains. Robert McIntyre doing very well here in this matchup. Turning the champion over. I'm not going to beat her with that. Uh-uh. Well, they're holding on to this 
grapevine. But you're not going to be here that way, like I said. No, but you're going to wear her down. Oh, that'll make it difficult to sit down for I think a while. Your ETA was there. Like three seconds. Champion in trouble. Nova's got some pretty powerful legs on it, don't you? He certainly does. Works out constantly. Got the crowd behind her as well. One more time. You know how she got her legs up high? Turn the wash down to the river. Please, bank please, give me a break. <laughs> Referee checking around. Not a submission hole. Is that her natural color hair? I don't know. I'll ask her uh, Get your face slapped again? What do you mean again? A little red around the cheek area lately. Champion reaching for those ropes. Didn't make it. Oh, right on that tailbone. Now, this is a pretty combination. If she decides to stop here, there it is. Shoulders are down. Where's the referee? Incompetent. He's gone. He wasn't even in the... I don't, is he in the ring? I don't think that the referee realized that that was a penny combination, Brian. But he should realize that being an official, right? Absolutely. You agreed with me? Well, I'm leaving time. I hope so. Tables are turned now. Look at this. She's strong enough. I told her that hair is a detriment. And it's lousy looking, too. It's not lousy looking. Looks better than yours. I know yours is good. Oh, leg drop by the champion. Right across the throat. Come on, Sherry, get up. Stay on it. You're not supposed to cheer. I'm being, being impartial. impartial. I'm being impartial. Well, you're cheering. I'm hoping Sherry wins and Robert loses. How much more impartial can you be? Champion in much better condition than I've seen her of late. She's my centerfold. She is, huh? She's standing on her hair while she pulls up on her head. See, she had a nice brush haircut, like like George Goble. She looked great. Uh -huh. Hangs her upside down in the corner. That right leg hooked underneath the turnbuckle. No way for her to get out of there. The only way out is for the referee. Oh, loose! Oh. Come on, ref, do your job in there. Velvet in deep trouble here in Paris, France in her quest to become the new ladies champion things not looking too well for her right at this particular point in time Robert, well, they're going to send your hair back in an envelope face first oh well that won't make much damage please you won't be able to tell how much damage you've done there Velvet is a very nice-looking young lady compared to some of those barracudas I've seen you with. Remind me never to send you out to find me a date. Sets her up on that top turnbuckle. To me, this is a waste of move. Right? Oh, nice sunset off the top. History almost made. I agree with you. When you set somebody up there, you should heave them over backwards, shove them backwards. There Why did you set them up there? There isn't a whole lot you can do when you sit somebody up there. No, and you've got to punch up where they can punch down. Irish whip in, look out. Shoulder block by the challenger and another one. Champion up quick though. But didn't know exactly what she wanted to do. I think she was stunned from that first half. Big roundhouse rights by Velvet. And once again, fingers into the eye by well, the champion. She was smart and knew what she wanted to do. She'd find herself a rich warrior doctor. Be home with about seven or eight kids in a big mansion, palatial estate, horses, Mercedes, Benz, Rolls Royces. But she'd what rather have her hair pulled. What are you talking about? Velvet. Oh. Champion now with a nice forearm. You know what her first name is? Velvet. I think it's Maggie. Maggie McIntyre. Maggie McIntyre. Her name is Velvet. Oh. Let's see what you get. Don't read walls anymore. Look out. Whip in once again. Backdrop. No. Oh. Picked her up and just oh, turned oh, her oh. loose face down once again. <laughs> Velvet knew she was caught and I probably in her own mind figured she was going to get backdrop. And then to have the tables turned around like that can really take the air out of you. I bet when she gets back to the dressing room, all her clothes will fit her different. Please. <laughs>
Champion in control. Irish whip into the corner. Here she comes. Missed that bottom rope. Second rope. Fatigue is starting to show here. Too late. Wow, what a knee. Right down in the lower abdomen area. Sherry's got to get her down on the mat, hold her down, and get her win back. They're out of gas. W-I-N-D back or W-I-N back? Exactly. Oh. Champion whips her in once more. Ducks underneath the clothesline. Look out. Sunset flip. No. Stopped it right in the Count, middle of the move. Count. He could be wild, too. Is the referee a count? I don't know. Oh, well, they got him from Rena Dummy. There's a lot of royalty over here. Blatant chokehold. Come on, ref, open your eyes in there. Oh, nice reversal by Velvet. Nailed her right in the chin with that one. Oh, reverse mule kick. She what a beauty. Her. She could have her here. She'd cover. Look at her. She's not covering. I'm going to slap the mat right back there. Oh, see, that's a bright move. Velvet with a golden opportunity here. Got the champion in trouble. Oh, what a beauty that was. Oh, Now, oh, oh. now, here she is. she going to giant swing her? Is she going to pin her? What's she going to do? Perhaps. I think we should know, don't you? There. Oh, there it is. Giant swing. And Sherry should have hooked her ankle. She could have never got her moving like this. She's a little bit dizzy herself now. She was dizzy when she got the dressing room. Please. Big splash. Could be all over. History made in Paris now. Ah, uh, Sherry's too tough. Which I'm even surprised she came out of there. Small package right in the center. Two count again, but not enough to hold the champion down. I think Velvet's hurt. I do too. I think they're both hurt. But she's got the offense going for a reversal now by the champion. Oh, nobody home as she ducked underneath that high crossbody attempt. That could be the beginning of the end. You feel as bad as she pushes the beginning back. Ducked under again. Look at the momentum. Takes the champion over. Shoulders are down. Oh, that's three why out. she's a champion, Monsoon. Tremendous victory, Sherry. Tremendous. Back to the kitchen, Maggie. I wish we had a shot of the other side of that because there may have been some trunks involved there. The leverage move was great by the champion, but... Oh, Maggie. Come on. Mesdames, Messieurs, la gagnante est toujours championne sensationnelle, Sherry!